we're going to get right to the worst case scenario here. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie Contagion. I watched it again recently and got really scared. And one of the things I wanted to start out with is by asking, how close are we in the infectious disease world to a scenario like that? And I'm going to start with you, Dr. Frieden. Um, we've seen Ebola. We're now dealing with Zika. There's all these new tropical emerging infectious diseases coming out of the swamps. How, how close are we to something that can't be contained, some biblical plague? Well, first off, every year, on average, we identify one new pathogen. And every day, on average, we at CDC start a new investigation that could detect a new pathogen. Okay. The contagion scenario is a pandemic influenza, and that's frankly what worries us most. Bill Gates has said there are really only two things that could kill 10 million people around the world, nuclear war and a biological event, either intentional or natural. And if you look back to what's happened, it's happened before. 1918, 1919, 50 to 100 million people killed around the world. Even the 1957 influenza pandemic, which most people maybe haven't heard of, cost 3% of the world's GDP. Even SARS, a relatively small outbreak, cost about $30 billion. So these are deadly, costly problems. We don't know when the next one will come, where it will come from, or what it will be, but we're certain there will be a next one. And in terms of the Gates Foundation's interests in this, you know, you've obviously been very involved in Ebola, specifically in Zika. How do you see this in terms of the danger to the world, to the idea that business will be disrupted, that, you know, there's looting and fires and all kinds of social unrest. Well, I would say for the, from a Gates Foundation standpoint, there's three ways we look at this. First, as you just heard from Tom, we need to be ready for the worst case scenario. The, the world needs to be ready for pandemic flu being the scariest. But what we learned from Ebola is that there's a couple things that, that are underutilized and not ready, not fit for use in the world. One is governance, right. who makes the call when things happen. And the global health security agenda has gotten a lot more attention. And the second thing is having the right tools. Right. So the focus on global health health research and development, the focus on tool development, the, those investments in global R&D are a big focus of our foundation. And the last thing is, even though the world is worried about something really super scary like the movie Contagion, we all saw this last summer how something like Zika that had been thought to be not a big threat um, spread by mosquitoes, but was a particular threat and is a particular threat for women who can get pregnant because it causes a catastrophic birth defect. Even Zika, from a business standpoint, I know everyone in this room probably had young people who were going to travel on business and either men or women who were completely concerned about their risk should they become pregnant or should their, their partner become pregnant. So understanding these new pathogens, understanding what we need to do from a governance standpoint, and having the kinds of tools, starting with diagnostics so we can spot them, are a big focus for us at the foundation.